Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio, now with blueprints and robots. Now, unfortunately, by moving all this, I think I had these passive provider chests that are very full. So I'm going to try to manually move this stuff with my mostly free inventory. We'll move it up into storage. Help the little deconstructor robots out. Oh, and the... Uh, Iron didn't really need to get stored. It's just all this copper plate. That would take those guys forever. I'm going to request a few chests. I think I have a few in inventory. And um, over here, I think we'll set up a, a square of... of those, and I want to get chest production underway. You know what, we, we really don't need four, do we? Oh, it's fine. I'm going to program it. I'll take the time to manually program it so that we only have a certain amount. So we'll replace the inner ones with fancy ones. And you are going to make How about you make orange, you make purple, you make blue, and you over here get to make yellow. So we got one of each, but then I'm going to set requirements here. So orange, you can only make things if orange is less than 10. That works. Copy, copy. You can only make purple if purple is less than 10. Copy, paste. You will only make those ones if less than 10. Okay. Let's just test and see if that looks right. Purples filtered, purples are filtered. So purples less than 10 you can make, you can put stuff in there. Yellow, yellow, blue, blue, orange, orange. Okay, so they're going to try to load these up, and really we don't need this many. I really shouldn't have that much stuff in there. Let's take the logistics chest down to like 10. Otherwise, we're going to end up with tons of circuits, and then five. We'll, we'll, we'll store ten. You know, I'm tempted just to overwrite my my chest blueprint because this is really a much better layout. Because if I if I ever needed to replace this or move it, I would just want to have all these settings saved with smart inserters and everything. I don't think I need to set the filter on these, do I? No, you've loaded them, they've loaded them all up with circuits. They're doing fine, okay. So the only thing that we don't have is smart chests. To make smart chests, we need to set up another couple setups. That's how you make smart chests, so let's make some over here. Hmm. That's kind of the one that I was thinking, I guess. That's how you make smart chests, and then how do you make iron chests? Right? That doesn't feel right.
Well, in order to line up, I want, I do want to line up these squares in the center. It was working better here with the old model. What did I change that's making it not line up? It really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not really planning on putting inserters in between these things. Actually, trying to find a way to make it even more com compact would be better, but... We are lacking blue boxes and blue things. Bring me some basics again. Give me 300 iron. 200 iron would be plenty. And what else do I need to make those? Really basic stuff. Well, not really. I can make it with just plain copper and iron. I can craft it myself, but... Let's get our basic requests back in. I want 200 gears. Say 100, 100 circuits. 100 advanced circuits. What are you guys working on right now? Supposed to be flying things to me. Well, they're probably trying to load all of these things up with insane amounts of storage because I programmed them all with hundreds. It's trying to load a hundred iron into each thing, which is fine. Coil needs to get moved. Coil gets used up so fast that circuit production really does need to just be much closer to the to the storage. So this is using a lot of robot time. More robots would be nice. Bring me all the flying robot frames. Eventually. <laughs> They'll do it eventually. Right now they're being rather, rather lazy. Oh, you know what also might be part of it is that I did disassemble the copper the copper production. Wonder if that's also maybe part of it. Well, let's move it down here. Um, so we got our furnace layout. So copper is going to come in way down here, I think. give us space. We'll push everything back a bit. Let's put one there. Darn it. I did not mean to do that. Start with that for now. I don't have anything in my inventory anymore. I dropped everything. I need to uh, to go pick some stuff up. And that active provider chest has lots of crap in it. That's all st being stored. I've just I've overburdened the robots. Where did the fast transport belts go? Could have sworn I had some spare on me. lack of copper production. Alright, well, we'll just have to settle for slow input for now. Just to get them functional. Okay, copper's gonna come in. These furnaces will get to work. Oh dear, where did all my uh, effectivity modules go? Bring them all to me, please. Eventually. 
You know what I could do, even? Just run the copper in the opposite direction and just run it right back out the way that it came and up towards the base. Ah, a loop's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, so we have copper, but it's not being added to the network yet, and the whole system's probably about to fall apart because it needs copper. Very temporary. I don't even remember where I put all that crap. Active provider. That's where all the effectivity modules got stored. Okay, this is not storage, but these, these ones will have to work for now. Active provider, I guess. I'll replace them. Okay. I bet the train station is, like, overloaded. You know, it's really not. There's still copper stored, and we still have iron stored. Quite a bit stored in the last ones. But... I really like that train station. I love. I just. I had. I can't stop playing this game. I've been binging in this game for days. It's really, really involving, and I love it. <laughs> it's just so well made, and I just am amazed at the fact that it's an alpha. Technically, still. Not making any steel. That might be part of the issue. Now we have 1.4k steel. I think we're fine on steel. We also have 4,000 copper bars, 35,000 iron bars. Science is, was working, but I think that we ran out of red science packs, it looks like, for the most part. And uh, I still have not been able to make some assembling machines, and it's also requesting a blue chest, which requires steel. That was a passive provider. Why weren't you guys bringing me steel? Okay, there's your boxes, and there are your the blue chests that you wanted. And we almost have chest production made automatic. Let's um, actually grab these advanced circuits back out, because that's far too many for them. And then... Just let them put 10 in there. We need to get smart chests being made. Smart chests require steel chests. Steel chests just require steel. I, I already did set this up. They're just not, not really making many. Oh, we're having electricity problems. At least we did for a second. Oh yeah, we're having electricity problems right now. Oh, I know why. It's because I kicked on all of these new um, furnaces with no effectivity modules. I bet we have higher 2.1 megawatt. That's pretty damn high. Yeah, let's load in the effecti effectivity modules. Pollution is actually very low, or very spread out, actually. They're finally getting around to bringing the flying robot frames to me. I think part of it, too, is that I set the, um, the base stock of all these things to, like, 100, which is maybe way too much. Puts too much priority on getting that done. But I'm not going to redo them all. I spent, like, almost a whole video doing that. 
what would be better is we just work on getting robot speed up, getting more robots in the air. We can make a lot of them. I've got lots of flying robot frames. Let's just make a whole bunch more robots. If some of them crash, they crash. Whatever. At this point, we can probably afford the, the lost robots. Get out there. Go work. Slaves. 192 robots. I mean, we have how many damn robot ports? There are one, two, th three, five robo ports in this city. If I could get the oil production closer, we could actually get rid of one of those robo ports. And maybe we do just waste energy and just throw down extra robo ports all over and let this thing get crazy. Ready? That almost sounded like a blue screen of death right there. <laughs> Playing them, deploying them all at once might not have been a good idea because now they might um, they might all run out of power at about the same time. But still, that was a, that's a good influx of workers. So steel chests are being made, and look at that. We got eleven orange ones. Seven, yeah, it's working. These things are making them when they're needed. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm not going to request chests because I don't really need them. We need to set up... Uh, not assembling this, this raw blueprint, but I need to make automated assembly. Yeah, look at them all trying to charge at once. Bunch of dummies. Alright, let's get more... Copper? We have 3,000 copper. I want more copper. These all have effectivity modules. We have enough iron. I think we can afford to disassemble iron production as well and relocate it now. Do it. Iron and steel production going down. They'll bring the modules to me, which is nice. What's it going to take to make better modules? Advanced processing units. Yeah, I think we're still making those automatically somewhere. They require oil. I think. Oil of some sort. Okay. None of this has power anymore. Oops. bringing me my processors. It's pretty nice. We still have um, probably quite a few of them. I've been making them for a long time. 82 more. That's good. We can make effectivity module twos. Again, I'd still rather have tons of number ones before we try to worry about even going up to twos. Because we're going to cut our... It only increases the power reduction by another 10%. Still, two, two of them taking you down from 100% power to 40%. And then from 40% down to 20%, you're still cutting the power in half from where it will where it is. But so more, far more effective just to make these things directly. I need to request copper cable. We don't have the ability to box up the copper for now. Um, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one more furnace line here. Going in that direction.
and now if we need to expand upon copper um, we can just push it out that way and now I want to do basically the same thing with iron and, uh, and roughly line it up so we're gonna need this whole mess to move over what if I just do this temporary blueprint copy this sounds fine move it to here thank you deconstruct this cool let's see how well they do that are they just gonna come fly and just automatically move this crap that'd be so amazing they're still trying to store these bricks Stop worrying about that for now. Just worry about the deconstruction, please. Oh, damn. These guys are trying to get the iron. I knew there was some reason why they're being slow. Come on, construction bots. You have one job. that they're even storing the raw iron that I indicated that's pretty cool yeah they built it damn that is so easy convenient furnace Actually, that's not going to give us enough space, is it? The three units too low. I take it back. Take it all down. My fleet. Move it up from there by three. One, two, three. Right there. That's where it's going to go. As soon as we stop seeing red. How did I get off by one again? Really? All right, last try. I guess it's just gonna go. It's gonna go right up against it. It's crazy. What perfect spacing? Sorry, robots. I know you are probably tired of me, but I'm a bit of a neat freak, and uh, well, no, I'm not. But still. No way we can power all this, and I highly doubt we even have the materials for it. But let's see what they do. missing inserters, we're missing furnaces as expected. So we'll add those to the list of things to finish. 
Uh, we'll make some more fast track for them. And we'll make some more long handed inserters for them because it's just easier. Here, just take half what I have and take the. What else was it that I just made for them? The fast track. There we go. Now the only thing we're missing is in, is the furnaces, and then I've got to put a lot of effectivity modules out there. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.